Hey, here's a quick idea on how to talk about your art. Often when you're in art school, you'll be told to formulate an artist statement, which should probably be a couple paragraphs long. But the reality is, nobody really reads artist statements. You know, they're made more for um, galleries to discern your work at a higher level. And most interactions that you get into aren't going to require two paragraphs to describe your work. So what I recommend my students do is to create an elevator pitch artist statement. So imagine you're at a gallery opening, you bump into somebody um, who could be a collector or who could be a curator. How do you explain your work as simply and fastly as possible? This is the most important artist statement you can have. And surprisingly, a lot of people do not have it. So when asked a very, very simple question, let's say you're at a barbecue, you're at your family's barbecue, your uncle, who knows nothing about art, comes up to you and asks you, hey, heard you're going to art school. What kind of art you making? And then you sit there like a deer in headlights. Have a simple artist statement, not complicated, not getting into the details of what your work is, what is the big umbrella of what you do. Is it figurative? Is it landscapes? Is it people in interiors? Is it abstract? What's it? What is it, right? What actually is it, first of all? So like with me, I can say I make blobby, uh, amorphous portraits of people, right? And now they'll kind of probably think, what, a blobby portrait? Then you pull out your phone and you show them, oh, here's one of my paintings. And they're like, oh, that's a blobby, amorphous portrait. So you get exactly what the person does immediately. And this is super important going forward. The thing after this, that's also important, right? So you have an artist pitch. People are always wondering like, how do people actually get famous? And one thing that drives me insane is that a lot of people I think are abandoning the concept of hard work being correlated to success. They think everything's based on chance, that everything is based on connections. That's kind of true. However, there's another thing at play which is super important as well. And that is to have a body of work. You need to have a lot of paintings or a lot of whatever it is that you're making. Not just one, not just two, not just six, like 50 to 100, right? So when you get, first of all, you're going to get a lot of practice doing the same thing over and over again, and you're going to start seeing it in different ways that you didn't expect. But also, if you're a gallerist, do you want to take on somebody with three paintings? No. What happens if you sell those three paintings? You got to wait another year to get three more. You want somebody with a large body of work. So in this respect, combine your artist pitch statement, right? Your elevator artist pitch one sentence, what do you do, and combine that with a big body of work. Look, here's 50, here's 100 different paintings I did quickly. You can just show them your Instagram or whatever. You're going to get a lot more resonance. The final thing, the final thing to tie all this together is being aware of who you're talking to, how they can, um, of course, help your work. If they're a collector, they might be interested in different things than a gallerist would be interested in, and um, or somebody who writes a blog, or somebody who writes, you know, articles or something like this. So kind of, you know, you can kind of like direct your approach to certain types of people and how it might resonate with what they do and how they fit into the art world as well. But regardless, be simple. Nobody wants to hear a bunch of, you know, nonsense terminology. Nobody wants to hear about this really detailed thing about what you're examining. Just say what you're doing as clearly and simple as possible with one sentence. And that can be hard. That can take time. But look at your artist statement. If you've got like a two paragraph long artist statement, you want to whittle that down to one sentence. You can even whittle it down to one word if you want to. I mean, of course, you can't answer, you know, the question with one word, maybe you could. What kind of work do you do? Oh, I do figurative work of people in interiors. Okay, pull up the phone. Because you can't explain the style. You're never going to explain like the style. I don't like that term. But you're not going to be able to explain like how the painting looks that well 
You know, you could be like, and why bother? Why not just show it to them, right? So simple sentences, big umbrella categories, and uh, you're going to get a lot more response from the people that you talk to. Thanks.